The string pad start method in JavaScript adds characters to the start of a string until it's of a given length. In other languages, you might also hear this called left pad, or Python calls it rjust. And it's especially helpful when you're wanting strings to all be of the same length. So for example, if you're constructing a table using multiple strings, to get everything nicely aligned, you'd want all these strings in that table to have the same length, and you can use pad start for that. Let's take a look at pad start in action. So pad start is just a normal method that you can call on a string. So here we've declared a string. And if we say stir.pad start, we can go and call the pad start method. Now the first argument to pad start is the length of the string that you want. And remember, pad start is going to add characters to the start of a string until it's of a given length. So if we wanted a string of length 10, for example, we can just go and say pad start 10. Now, if we look at the result of what has happened here, when we called stir.pad start 10, we are going and padding out the start of the string here. So here is our original string. And in this case, we're adding space characters to the start of the string until the entire string is of length 10. The important note about the uh, our first argument here, that is specifying the desired length of the string. You're not specifying how many characters you're wanting to add. So we can actually check that by saying length here. And you'll see that after calling stir.pad start with 10 here, the string that we get back has a length of 10. So always remember, you're specifying with the padding the desired length of the string, not how many characters are actually going to be added. You'll also notice here that the pad start method does not actually modify the string. So we could go and add pad start 8, for example. Every time we're going and creating a new string whenever we're calling pad start, and our original string has not been affected. Now, what happens if you pass in pad start a value that is actually less than the length of the string? So here we could pass in something like 1. And in this case, you'll notice that we're actually just getting back the string itself as the result, so just ABC here. Again, that is because we are passing in the desired length of the string, and pad start is looking at and saying, hey, we already have a string of length 3, so we don't need to add any extra padding characters. Now, as we've seen in these past couple of examples, the default behavior of pad start is to pad the left side of the string using a space character. So in this example, where we're saying pad start 10, it has gone and added seven space characters here to pad things out but you can actually customize the characters that are used to fill in the start of the string here. So that is going to be done with the second argument to pad start. So let's go back in here. We'll say pad start 10. And let's say that instead of using the space character, we actually want to use zeros to pad out the start of the string. All we have to do is pass in the string that we want to use for padding as the second argument to pad start. So I'll say 10, and then I can pass in a string here of zero. And you'll see that now we are using the zero character to actually pad out the start of the string. Again, in this case, it is adding seven zero characters to the start of the string to give us back a string with length 10. You can pass in whatever character you'd like to actually pad out the string. So we could do something like X, for example. You can even do multiple characters. So if I said something like hi, notice how it's going to try to pad the start of the string using re repetitions of the string that we passed in here. In this case, it will try to repeat hi as many times as possible until it actually runs out. And you see the last version of hi here is truncated. This is happening because pad start has gotten to the desired length of the string, 10 in this case, and it does not need to repeat any more characters. So just remember, if you're passing in multiple characters here, it might not actually use all of them when it's going and padding your string. The pad start method is only available on strings. So if you're wanting to pad something like a number, all you have to do is first convert it over into a string, and then you can go and call pad start on that. Let's take a look at doing this. So if I had a number here, so I'll say const num equals one, two, three, I cannot call pad start directly on this value because it is a number, Again, pad start only exists on string values. What I instead have to do is first convert the number into a string. So I'll do that using the string function here, and I'll go and pass in our, my number value. This is going to give us back a string representation of that number. And now I can call pad start on the result. So I'll say pad start. And again, I can pass in 10. And this is going to add 10 white space character or seven white space characters in this case to make us a string of length 10 here using our number value. If we wanted to instead use zero padding, I could just go and add a second argument. And in this case, I could just pass in the literal number zero here. This is going to be converted automatically into a string. And when it goes and pads things, you'll notice that we're now padding out the start of our string with a bunch of zeros. The pad start method is a great shortcut for formatting strings. And it's especially helpful when you're dealing with things like tables, where you're wanting potentially multiple columns of data to align nicely. You can use pad start to ensure that each column has the same exact length and will display nicely when printed to the console. So that's a look at the pad start method in JavaScript.